Today we just received a package from the flip sky. Um, we got an order last week and it just arrived today, a couple days early in fact. We're here in uh, Ontario, Canada. So let's get right to it. The package inside contains the Flipsky Dual FSE SC 6.6. I'll be showing you guys how to set that up later. Uh, I also got an order of the iCloud wheels that just came up on their store. So we'll be trying these out. All packaged very nicely. We have some I Wonder connectors, or probably the, um, the bearing. We got the pulley conversion kit for the cloud wheels as well as the screen remote, the VX2 Pro from Flipsky. So, it's all packaged very nicely, that's it. Let's get to it. The first thing you wanna do is grab your board and make sure to fit your, your Flipsky via FSESE in place. Ensure that your wires are cut to the desired length. So I cut them here about halfway. And next up, we're going to be soldering connectors. So these bullet connectors need to go here. So they connect to these 5.5 millimeter connectors off the motors. Here we'll be using the torque board, torque board 6380 motors. Get up this awesome combination to give us the most power output. Now, once we have all our connectors ready to go, I just have to take them off um, an old board. We will begin by <clears throat> stripping back some of the material in order to stick the connectors on. You want to take off as little material as possible here. You want to ensure you're in a good contact. So you take your connector, see the hole that's in. <clears throat> Push this up. And as long as it fits in snug, you're good. Next up, we will install the XT90 connectors. So, just gotta make sure you cut this to the length you want as well. And we're just gonna solder them in, making note of which side is the positive and which side is the negative. Next up, we may need to make the connections. We have our solder, isolated, insulated connectors here. And we're just going to plug in the motors. The order doesn't really matter. Once the motors are plugged in, we have our sensor wires. That we need to plug in. I'm gonna make some incisions to this plastic wrap because I really do like the protection it provides. So hopefully we can save it but still use all these connectors. These are just the regular sensor wires, I just shorten them. Fits the setup a little bit better. Do the same thing on this side.
Once we're done that, we can make a little hole for our USB. I'll also be making two other holes. One for our USB cable. Please make sure you're being very careful when you're doing this. And then we'll be using a UART connection for our controller since we have the VX2 screen remote. So in order to use this guy, we will be utilizing this communication port right here. And it has this receiver. Those are all your main connections. Next, we're gonna be plugging it in to our battery. You'll see everything light up. And our, we got our two blue lights. And then when we see our two green lights, we're good to go. We'll also try the remote. Instantly paired. And we have both our motors going. Um, before we get anywhere else, we're going to be programming this and switching out the uh, wheels for our new cloud wheels that we just got from Flipsky as well. Let's get to it. Just as a side note, the pulley conversion kit that comes with the uh, cloud wheels doesn't actually, won't fit my board. Just, um, I have the torque boards truck set and there's just not it, this isn't long enough and I got some interference there luckily um, the old pulley kit I was using uses the same <coughs> the same uh, design as the cloud wheels so I will be using my old pulley system and I'm gonna be sending back the um, pulley conversion kit so be warned if you have the torque boards truck set, the iCloud wheels will fit, but you're gonna have to figure out your own pulley kit. I'm just gonna finish up installing this. So next we're gonna program our um, motor controller. So for that, we're gonna plug in our USB to our master board, which is gonna be this side of the board. Make sure your power is plugged in. If you are using a PPM connection, so the regular VX1 remote, for example, you will not be connecting this just yet. You're gonna be connecting your controller receiver through here. Um, we plug this into our laptop. That's going to connect the motor controller to your laptop, load up our VSEC tools, the ESC tools. Once that's loaded, give it a second. We're going to auto connect. And give it a second here.
that's a, now it's connected. We found our V set right here. We're gonna set up the motors. We have medium uh, runner motors. Put that next. Click through the warning. Our battery. We're using a Lion battery. These are the different types. Our uh, maximum capacity is 4.2 volts per thing, though. Um, my specific battery is a 10S5P. Running 10 battery series, the battery capacity is 10 amp hours for me. Make sure you set that up based on your battery. Um, set up the motor pulley, mine is 16 tooth to 36 teeth. And my wheel diameter is 105 with my new iCloud wheels that I just got from Flipstone. Directions. Sorry. Sixteen teeth, thirty six. Now we set this up to one hundred and five millimeters. And we run the detection. If your motor is going to spin up, It's gonna spin up the motors. Right now it's detecting, it's using hall sensors, making sure everything's running. So we were able to find our motors are good. The sensors, as you can see, are both hull. So it's getting our sensors. I'm not sure why it gave us that error, but here we can check. Make sure that our wheels are spinning up the right way. Motor's completely locking up for some reason, but it was working. Finish. Set up input. We won't need to do this because we're using our UART connection. So we are set on that. I'm gonna fire it up. Just that. Our next step will be to program the VX2 remote controller. So from here, we press and hold the bottom button, the setting button, to here. Now, obviously, we want to change that, so you press this button and hold it for three seconds again. It starts blinking, then you can change it here. Got 10 cells. And press it three times. For three seconds, sorry. Until it saves. So you have to press the menu button to save it. Pull pairs. It's fine. 
speed option, I want to see in kilometers per hour. And then we press this button to get out of there. Bottom button, check it. Hub motor, we want to change it, so we press it for three seconds. We have pulley motor. Change that. Run all the way up to 105. Wheel diameter 105, the motor pulley, we gotta change that as well. We have a 16, in mine at least. Exit out of that. Wheel pulley, gotta change that to 36. Throttle calibration. If we want to change that, we can. It's already paired. We got that AC type. There's no fault codes. We're good to go. So now, when it's on the ground, both of them will spin. And we're ready to go for a ride after we assemble all this back up.